Today is actually my second day. This first week of training is mostly week in my life vlog. I have not made one of these in so long and I'm actually so excited. If you're new here, my name is Madeline and I work in QA for software. So I test the software, test code. Today is actually my second day back to work in this job. If you haven't seen my other videos, I kind of have it all documented, but I did this job for two years at this company and then left earlier this year and now I'm back. Basically just, you know, a casual quarter life crisis, but I'm back and I am so excited to be back actually. I had my orientation yesterday. It was in person. So when I first started this job in 2020, the world had just shut down. It was May, 2020. So everything was completely remote. I was also one of the first groups that they hired remotely, trying to even download the software to like remote into the desktop to work was confusing and scary. And I didn't get to meet anyone in person for a really long time. This second time around was so nice. Like I got to actually, I mean, I've been to the office before, obviously last year I worked in person one day a week. So like I'd been there, but it was just really nice to like actually get that, that welcome and that orientation that I didn't get the first time around. It was a super fun day and had me really, really excited to be back. I am going through training. So I'll have like three-ish weeks of training that I'm going through again, which I've already done before, but just like as a refresh. And then I'm going to be back on my old team. It is 7.48. I log in at 8 a.m. I work 8 to 5. Quick disclaimer, <laughs> in my old videos, I got roasted for my desk setup, which was fair. Like, it was not good. It was not ergonomic, but I never said it was. <laughs> okay. I'm working on getting a better desk set up right now. It's better than it was the first time around, but don't come for me. I know I still have improvements I need to make. I would love to get an actual like standing desk that like where like the whole desk moves up and down right now. I just have a little that thing, a little platform. If you guys have any recommendations for desk setup stuff that is like ergonomic and healthy, good, good for posture and all that, definitely drop them below. But uh don't roast me for my current setup, please. But God, it's easier to say what I feel when I write a song. That is if you don't mind. So I truly do have quite a bit of like HR checklists and training things to get through. Plus like enrolling in benefits and all that stuff. Looks like I have two meetings today. So I'm gonna write myself a little to-do list and just start chugging through all this new hire, rehire stuff. Hello. Hey guys, it is after lunch, making a little dessert snack. I don't know, my lunch this week is really non-calories. So that means I get a dessert and I'm making a little latte. walking pad. I'll show you guys it in a little bit. I'm going to start on the actual training. I did all of my HR checklists and whatnot this morning. So we're done with day two. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna roast some sweet potato for dinner. This first week of training is mostly, it's a lot of overview stuff. Um, they go through some common like dev acronyms, QA acronyms, like a little glossary of terms. Um, they talk about the different testing environments and like the live environment. What else? They do start talking about Jira, how to use Jira, which is the software that's used for like tracking bugs, tracking the issues, um, the development, the organizational software that everybody uses together. It's a lot of information. The first time I started, I went through everything several times because it was all new to me. Eventually it all falls into place. So if you're watching this because you're just starting in manual QA or anything and you feel overwhelmed, it's okay, literally everyone does. You kind of just have to be overwhelmed at first and then once you actually get into the specific work, actually working with the software, it all starts to make sense. Oh, I did find out Friday, I'm gonna get to go with them to this big celebration thing because a feature I was working on when I left is being sent out to live finally. It was like a really big project and it's, I guess it's all the way done. And the celebration is Friday, so I get to go. I got me 10K steps. You're just gonna have to believe me. French toast today. What are you excited for today? This. <laughs> this is kind of a highlight is the French toast. Can you guys move? Go. Ow! Don't claw. Ow! I want you to know how I feel. Wednesday. I keep thinking it's Tuesday. This week is going by so fast. Wednesdays are usually when code is released. So it's usually, it's either a stressful day or not a stressful day at all. <laughs> I'm feeling very good this morning. I definitely want to leave the house more today. I only left the house yesterday morning to go to the gym. It was a very gloomy day. Like it went by fast, but I just felt like I was in my office and just like in the house forever. So I'm definitely leaving the house more today. At lunch, I have to go meet my friend Danny because I need to get like a key fob from her. But she's a, she'll be at a park nearby. So if it's not raining, I want to go on a lunchtime walk. I miss those. That was like the highlight of my day back when I did this all the time. Work-wise, it's going to be the same thing. Going through all these training modules. I have a meeting at 1.30 to go over like time tracking and how we do that. <laughs> slept in today so it's 6 30 but as you can tell from the bags that are my eyes i'm so tired i need to wake up i just finished my part of my morning routine where i like journal and look at like my schedule for the day and i update our budget I do those things every single morning. Usually I'd get done with it at like 5.30 and then I go get ready and go to the gym. But I'm thinking my 5 a.m. days might be passed. I've been like a 5 a.m. wake up person when I've had like work to go to for a long time. I always feel great Monday and Tuesday and then like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it starts to get, I just get so, so tired. 
I'm gonna try a different schedule for a little bit and I'm gonna sleep till like 6 30 or 7 have a nice slow morning routine at home and then go to the gym on my lunch break and then if it's like a nice day not today today is rainy and cold but if it's a nice day I can go on a walk before work and after work because I still want to be able to incorporate walks in my day because I feel like the best version of myself when I go on walks every day. Since I've done this job before, I've done all this before, I'm trying to be very intentional and like conscious of how I'm setting myself up in the work environment. I really want to focus on making connections with my coworkers where it just, you know, where work can feel like a fun place. I think those little things are important. It just makes the work day much more enjoyable. So I'm trying to focus on that, but I'm not on a team yet. So it's like a little bit hard. I feel like my thing is I'm always worried that I'm bothering someone. Like the day in office, it's not like this. And like people will just stand around and chat for a long time. But I feel like since I'm remote and I can't see what anyone's doing, I just assume they're working super hard and that if I message them, it's going to be annoying. But I need to not do that. Because even when I'm working, like on the days where it was a super busy work day or something, if someone sent me just like a nice message or a funny message, it was not annoying. Like, I always appreciate that. But I should probably start getting ready for the day. Got more coffee. Uh, I'm about to start on my training. I'm over halfway through week two training. So going through it fast. But I do want to get all this training done fast because I have things I can work on for leveling up. Like, I have a couple tests I need to pass. Two tests. I have, like, a test that's, like, code 101. Uh, and then I have one for, like, the system we use to log errors. I wanted to tell you guys about the walking pad I've been using. I will link to this one down below. It is from Amazon. It goes up to eight miles an hour. If you have, like, the stabilizer thing up. So when it says a walking pad, it goes up to four miles an hour, which is very fast to try to walk and work. It's super nice that it does go up to eight miles an hour because me and Jackson have both used it to like do like a treadmill run. As far as walking while I'm working, I really like it. The only problems I'm having are not with the walking pad. It's with how small this little standing desk situation is. If I had just like an actual standing desk that would raise, I would have no problems at all. I mean, you just have to walk slower when you're trying to type. But like while I'm just watching these trainings and doing quizzes, I can walk pretty fast because I don't need to type anything. And I've really only been using it like one to maybe three hours max for the day. lunch break going to the gym it helps to actually leave the house during your lunch break to like completely disconnect from work and then you feel so much better when you come back to it refreshed i'm heating up my lunch now and i'm just gonna eat that while i do more training i just finished the meeting with my supervisor and i found out which team specifically i'm gonna be on because like within the broader team there's like eight different smaller teams and i knew i wasn't gonna be on the exact same small team as before so i just found out which one i'm gonna be on at least for now they were saying Things might change next year because they might be adding a new team and like I might move to that. I'm excited. It's a really good team. It's with people that I worked with before and I really enjoy. And I know who my TL is. It's going to be a different one, but it's someone I worked with a lot. Just feeling lots of good vibes. It's a good day. Today just feels like a very good day. It's five. I'm off work. Today was such a good day. I feel like yesterday I was starting to feel just like very tired, kind of gloomy. It was gloomy outside. Today was really good. Probably because I got extra sleep. Tonight I don't plan on doing much because we have like a pretty busy weekend ahead, but I do need to go to the store and get ingredients for this weekend because Saturday I'm going to make like a hot chocolate bar situation for the party that we're hosting. I'm going to do a big slow cooker hot chocolate and then have lots of different toppings like little marshmallows, chocolates, caramel sauce, whipped cream, candies, like lots of stuff. I'm gonna get some drinks to go with it if people want spiked hot chocolate. Not that I sweat when I run is ridiculous. <laughs> like I, it's just, I'm, I'm not a runner, but I'm trying to incorporate it more. Me and Jackson did a 5k for Thanksgiving and 
it was actually so fun. And I'm finally at the point where like that 5K didn't feel hard, which is exciting. Cause like when I started running occasionally, like years ago, I it sucked, but it does get better, but it's still hard. I'm gonna go shower because I'm nasty. Friday! I'm so surprised that I actually had time to fully get ready today. Like, real pants are on, okay? Today's gonna be a short work day because I have that project celebration this afternoon, which I'm so excited to go and get to see my old coworkers. I'll probably leave here at like 12.15 to get to the restaurant. This week has flown by. This morning, I'm just gonna work on more training. I actually have a test I can take to work towards leveling up. Um, so I'm gonna take that test and just work through the other like new hire training stuff. Hey guys, I'm about to head out to go to the little celebration thing. Oh, look at these adorable little earrings. I never wear earrings, but I bought an ornament for a friend and it was from Etsy and the seller sent me these cute little mushroom earrings for free. To be honest, I feel a little bit nervous. I think I get a little bit of social anxiety, but it'll be fun. I don't need to worry about it. It's gonna be a good time. Hello, I'm back home. It was a lot of fun. It's very nice getting to see everyone in person again. We ate at like a Mexican place and they had these chocolate pinatas, which was crazy. I'd never seen those before. But yeah, just had a nice long lunch and then we went and did an escape room, which was really fun. We did escape really fast. Technically we beat the record time for the room, but two of the people had done the room before like a long time ago. So it didn't count. I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> it's only like 5.30. I think me and Jackson are gonna go get some dinner tonight. We've been really good about just eating at home and cooking our own food. We're gonna go get dinner out somewhere and then come home and do some cleaning, I think, so that we're ready for tomorrow. So we're having people come over to play games. That was a lot of socializing in those four hours. That was fun, but I'm very hungry. <laughs> 